hey guys welcome back so here uh, we will try to understand what happens when you get exception in your program and uh, how this can be handled so first we'll try to understand the concept and then we'll get, uh, go to the technical part of it so if you look at the first diagram here uh, what you have here is you have a main method as i told earlier right the main method is the one from where your actual execution will start right so the main method is the one where actual execution will start this guy main uh, this guy call a method called test5 okay this guy call a method called test5 now test5 internally called test4 test4 internally called test3 test3 internally called test2 and test2 internally called test1 right so you can understand right this is the chain of uh, method which is getting called so uh, one class can have multiple methods which you guys uh, know that now one method can call other method this also you know that right because we have already covered all the oops concept and i have given n number of examples so uh, what i believe is by now you are very good with the method calls and object creations right so why i'm saying that main here because main is the one from where your actual execution will start so when we create the object inside the main method and when we call the method test5 test5 internally calls test4 test4 internally calls test3 test3 method internally will call test2 method test2 method will call test1 method now what happens this is your call stack so what we call in the java is the stack this is your call stack the call stack means if you have a class okay and the class has lot of method call so all the method first it will go and it will take a locations in your stack memory right so main so first let, let's say main is calling right so after main main call test5 so the test5 will go to the stack then test5 will call test4 it will go to the stack test4 will go call test3 it will go to the stack test3 will call test2 it will go to the stack and test1 will go to the stack now there is no more method call now the compiler will will execute from here itself from the test1 now what happens is in the test1 there is some exception this guy this guy actually throw some exception so what will happen so when this guy will throw the exceptions right and this is your entire things we call it as a call stack so when this guy will throw the exceptions so this way we call it as method call right now how actual execution will start this way so let's say when there is an exception in uh, test 1 uh, the compiler will come to test 2 and it will check whether this exception is handled no it will come to test 3 whether the exception is handled no it will come to test 4 exceptions handled no in test 5 exceptions handles no in main exceptions handles no then it will print the exceptions okay then it will print the exceptions so how how in reality it will look like like this so if you look at here so what happened here is look at here basically uh, this uh, the chain of all the method call uh, you can look here the main was called here you can see that the main was called here you have a main right then main called test 5 here test 5 called test 4 test 4 called test 3 this is output from the eclipse this called test 2 and test 2 called test 1 now when test 1 was called there is exception there is exceptions okay here you get exceptions so what happens here is let me let me tell you so you have exception here at this point of time you have exceptions so your program will terminate here when the program will terminate here it will go to test 2 no exception handling it will go to test 3 no exception handling then test 4 no exception handling then test 5 no exception handling then it will come to the main so when it will come to the main the main will print your exceptions so this is the exceptions printed in the main method the top line whatever you are seeing that exception in the thread main java line arithmetic exceptions divided by geo so this is the exceptions is printed by the uh, uh, by the uh, compiler now let's see what is the type of exceptions so as i was mentioning when i have given the definitions of the exceptions the type if you look at here it's a arithmetic type the type is the 
it is the exceptions but of type arithmetic exceptions so whenever you'll get exceptions you'll get the type of the exceptions and why this came because in your program you are dividing by zero so if you look at here you are dividing by zero this is causing exceptions in your program okay this is causing exceptions in your program so that's how uh, whenever you don't have proper exceptional handling okay that's how your program will get terminated and that's how you will get a exceptions so it is clear now like the method call will happen like this so in a stack you know that uh, it's a like a last in uh, like it's a FIFO uh, sorry it's a LIFO last in first out right last in first out so what happened is first main will get in the stack then test 5 will get in the stack then test 4 test 3 test 2 and test 1 now the last in first out then this will come out here is the exceptions it will go to test 2 here is the exceptions it will go to test 3 here is the exceptions it will go to test 4 here then test 5 then it will come to the main method and here exceptions will get printed that's what actually happened here and your exceptions got printed here right so that's how uh, you whenever you get exceptions and when you don't have handling so that's how the exceptions will get printed what it will get printed you will get printed the type of the exceptions and what is the cause of exceptions right type of the exceptions and cause of the exceptions so these two things it will get printed okay this is the program guys so what happens is you can see that you have test 1 method test 2 method test 3 test 4 and test 5 this test 5 calls test 4 test 4 will call test 3 test 3 will call test 2 and test 2 will call test 1 and here you will get the actual exceptions right here you will get the actual exceptions now you are creating the object of the class and you are just calling test 5 that's what i was mentioning about so this main will call test 5 test 5 will call 4 3 2 1 so when exceptions will come here you know what happens uh, when actual execution will happen what will happen this when there is any exceptions the test one will return here and it will check for whether this handle the exceptions is handled in the test two not then test two will return here whether it is handled in test three not test three will return here whether it is handled in test four method no uh, then the four will return here whether it is handled in test five no then actually it will come to the main method and this is the locations where your exceptions will get printed so that's how it happens whenever you don't have proper exception handling so in next video we will see that what happens when you have proper exceptions handled in your program